Kia ora. Good morning. Hope you're all having a super fantastic sparkling start to your day. It has been an amazing start to my day here. I actually missed a Zoom call um, like almost an hour ago because of stuff going on here, like my dog break, getting off, getting out of her harness, um, playing with another dog while doing so, um, all sorts of fun. But you'll learn more about that tonight because we've got more to that story coming later today. So hope you've all had an amazing start to your day. Um, it's we woke to the sound of rain. Oh, rain. You know how much I love the rain. <laughs> we awoke to the sound of rain pitter pattering on the roof this morning. And um, it's just such a refreshing sound. It's very meditative. Um, sometimes when when I get into the mood to meditate, sometimes I will do natural sounds. And one of my favorite ones is, is waterfalls and rain is another one of mine that I like to sit and have playing softly in the background um, when I'm doing um, meditations or, or prayers or journaling, stuff like that. So when I'm in that kind of meditative state, whether I'm actually meditating, doing guided meditation or, um, or praying or um, journaling, anything like that, I like to have natural, um, either some sort of soothing zen type music or sounds of nature. And sounds of nature is quite often rain. I just love the sound of rain. But anyway, anyway, I hope you're off to a super fantastic sparkling start and you are ready for your challenges today. Yes! I didn't think I wouldn't come on a morning session without challenges for you, did you? <laughs> so your challenges for today, your mindset, focus. Focus. Focus to me used to be a four letter, a five letter F word. Um, but I have learned over time how to channel my shiny objects, shiny object syndrome and allow myself time to focus. And that's the time when I'm putting on that, those natural sounds, that type of music, when I really need to focus and my, and I'm training myself that when I have the natural sounds going or I have the, um, the, med the, calming soft zen type music on that is the time that my brain now knows to focus and not get distracted by shiny objects which is really hard with all the comments that are currently flowing up the screen here right now I'm, I'm trying to concentrate and I don't have the sound of the rain on the roof or anything so I'm trying very hard here um, but hello to everybody that is watching I appreciate your tuning in <laughs> um, so yes your your task today is to for your mindset is to focus Focus on a task. Find a way. If you're like me that suffers sun, if you're like me and suffer shiny object syndrome, you know distractions, squirrels, all of that sort of stuff, and we've got plenty of those out here. Trust me. And I've got a dog that loves shiny objects and squirrels and birds and all of that. So, we, so um, today, if you're like me and you have that, that see, I'm getting distracted. I tell you, that's bad. Um, focus. <laughs> Thirty-two, Helen. Thirty-two. Uh, if you don't know what 32 means, quick sidetrack, um, we had to do, when I was working with Marriott, I was working in the training department and they made us do the, um, the strengths finders where you have 34 different strengths and my number 32 was focus, which is like way down the list. And what is really, what is even more, what is even funnier is that I have two Disney football jerseys. One, no, actually one's a hockey jersey that has Donald Duck on it because he's playing with a hockey stick in a puck and the other one is Goofy and the number on the back of Goofy's shirt is 32 and Goofy happens to be one of my favorite Disney characters because <laughs> I just like his absent-mindedness and his willingness to help and I just relate to him so much but um, to see 32 on the back of his jersey and to find out that fo that on the Strengths Finders list, 32 is focus for me, which is way down the list. Um, I just found that absolutely hilarious. And um, so there were times that my supervisors, they learned that 32 was my focus one and they would slap the table and go, 32, Helen, 32. I was like, okay, gotta focus, gotta focus. So your mindset today is to focus. Start training yourself that um, to use different things. So if you listen to certain types of music and it helps you concentrate on Concentrate, there's a really good word. I love that word. Um, helps you concentrate on what you're doing and getting your mind into the into the task at hand. Then utilize that so that every time you hear that piece of music or you hear that particular sound, your brain starts going into the area of, oh, we need to focus, we need to concentrate right now. So I have playlists set up in my, in my um, iTunes that when I put them on, the brain's like, oh, we have to focus right now. 
and I can zero in on what I need to do and get done what I need to get done. And I usually use it when I have, um, because I'll set up my calendar and I'll put in blocks of time in my calendar that are um, appointments with myself. Now those appointments with myself are um, my revenue generating hour. It is one hour where the phone is turned off, I don't look at email, um, not the incoming stuff anyway. Um, this is way too much of that. Uh, <laughs> focus, 32. Um, so you start, and this, so I start putting that music on when I need to be in that hour and I need to focus on revenue generating tasks. And so during that hour, I'll have my natural sounds playing or I will have one of my playlists playing where my brain knows, oh, we need to focus on this task right here, right now. And I would already have planned in my planning portion of the day what tasks, what revenue generating tasks I'm gonna be doing during that one hour. And it's a solid one hour. And I even have my noise canceling headphones here and I put them on so I'm not even getting distracted by the, um, by the air conditioner that you can hear rumbling on in the background here. Um, and all I, can, all I am hearing is that pure music, that pure sound coming through. And Zephy may come and sit up next to me on the, on the bench here and she'll, she'll just sit up next to me and just lean on me. Unfortunately, she does it on my right side, which is my dominant hand, but when she does that, I'm just sort of like, I don't care, and I'll just start scr I'll give her scratches and stuff, but I'll just switch the pen to the left hand and then carry on working um, because I can, I've trained myself to be ambidextrous. So find that piece of, those pieces of music that you can create a focus playlist so when you need to be in a meditative state or you need to be in a you need to be concentrating on a particular task that you can play that music and, you're, and that's the only time you play it is when you need to concentrate or focus on a task. So whenever you hear that music, the brain goes, oh, we need to focus, all right? And it starts shutting down the, the noises and starts bringing in the skills inside the brain that needs to target on that one area. I found that, I found that skill very, very helpful. I'm gonna be using it a lot today. <laughs> But I do have a break. We've got a play date for Zephy today, so that's gonna be fun. Um, your biz business challenge is send a card and or a gift to a client. Um, you know, your clients are in, you know, they're in lockdown like you are. Um, some places have been extended an extra hour, um, extra hour, an extra 30 days. Um, so that's another 30 days that they're gonna have to be locked up with their family, locked up with their spouse, locked up by themselves. So send them a card and or a gift just to say, hey, just checking in, wanna know what's going on. And I'm not talking an e-card. Here is the issue I have right. I have with e-cards. I've always had an issue with e-cards. To me, they are um, they get lost in my email box. And right now, I have so much email coming in to my email box from all the different vendors that I have, is that the personalized stuff is getting lost because some of the vendors are not using their regular email addresses to send stuff out to um, to all of the travel professionals. They're sending different emails, so it's now cluttering up my inbox, and it's not following the little rules I have that automatically sort stuff into, into the folders. So like all the cruise lines are all using different emails. I may have it coming direct from a person instead of direct from a mailing list. Um, and it's sort of like, oh, jeepers. And I just try and catch capture, I try to capture the stuff that's for me, and there's also so much spam coming in right now. Um, that I'm just like, I'm lucky if I look at my work email twice a day. Um, it is just getting so inundated with things, but there are certain ones that I will actually go through and specifically look for. And some of them, thankfully some vendors have been very kind to me and they haven't changed their email addresses and I love those vendors. And I can see one of them on here watching right now. So thank you, thank you, thank you for, for not changing your email addresses and stuff so it clutters up my inbox. Because now I can go, I know those vendors that haven't changed their emails, so I'm able to go to those vendor folders and actually read what they're sending me instead of going, oh jeepers, or, or possibly missing it. So e-cards completely get missed in my box. Plus I don't like sending them because I feel they're impersonal. What I like to do is send a physical card and I can hear most of you saying, but we can't go to the store. We can't go buy cards. They're not essential. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, blah. I can send cards through a text message. If you would like to know more, let me know. Private message me and I will tell you how you can send a card through a text message from your phone and they will get a physical card in the mail. And if you don't want to do it from your phone, I can show you how to do it online as well. So um, private message me if you would like to know more about sending cards and personalized gifts to your um, to your clients. I mean, imagine getting a, a, I don't have, oh, yes I do, here's my, so this is my, this is my water bottle that I made myself 
and I've put my logo for this year on it, but if you have a look here, it has my name on it. So I made that, and it goes with my card. This is my card. It sits by on my desk every day, so I see it every day. And this is my card that um, I made with what 2020 is for me, and you know, 2020 is beyond what you can see. So that mountain is any obstacles, challenges, and everything else that I will be facing in 2020. And stepping out in faith means that I keep on the road because I have the faith that the path is going to be there to lead me through the mountain, over the mountain, around the mountain, um, and um, or under the mountain, whichever way I need to go. There's going to be a path that I can get through that those challenges. And like they say, you know, um, what's that um, Carrie Underwood song, um, So Small? It says that sometimes that mountain that you've been climbing is just a grain of sand. And I'm sort of like, wow. Sometimes it really is a mountain, but sometimes it's just a grain of sand. So I'm looking at this coronavirus whole thing as a grain of sand and taking the attitude of this is the time where I can get out there and get things done. Um, and so this here, I've I actually put a couple of different pictures on here as I was trying out. So this here, so this here is the um, is a New Zealand. These these are all New Zealand pictures. So keep my New Zealand mountains in there. And then this is Cathedral Grove in the North Island as well. So, um, you know, no matter what the size of your mountain, there's always a path to get through it, under it, around it, or over it. It may take a time, or it could just be, it looks that way, but um, um, it can be a grain of sand. Um, and somebody just asked me, can Zephy send Panda a card? Zephy would love to send Panda a card. Zephy loves sending cards. Her favorite thing right now is that she likes sending um, dog bowls with the dog's name on it, and maybe some treats too for the dog. So, um, but I know Panda's a cat, so I don't think Panda would like dog treats. But she might like a bowl with her name on it. Who knows? So um, if you'd like to know more about personalizing gifts and being able to send them to your clients, um, just private message me and I can tell you all about that. So that's today's business task is to send a card, a physical card to people, not, e not emails. They, that'll just get lost in all the hubbubaloo that's out there. Um, and the fun activity today is go draw. Pick up a pen, a pencil, a marker, colored pencils, drawing pencils, whatever, and go draw something. It could be stick figures. I don't care. Just go draw something. Draw squiggly lines. There's, um, when I was a kid, one thing I liked to do was just get like a, um, just blank pieces of paper and take a pen and I would just draw squiggly lines and have them intersecting. So it all ended up being one like blob of squiggly lines, but they all joined up. And then I would just take colored pencils and color in the, the shapes in the middle. Made some cool pictures that way. They were nothing. They were just Patchworks of patchworks of color is how it ended up. So if you want to know how to make patchworks of color, just take a blank piece of paper and a pen, draw squiggly lines that intersect and cross over each other, but just make sure that wherever you start, you come back and bring it back. And no, it's not Spirograph, Kathy. Spirograph, yes, I love Spirographs. But this is just taking freehand with a pen and paper and just drawing loops and lines and circles and all sorts of shapes, but it all ends up joining up together in one piece. And then you take... Um, colored pencils, crayons, or whatever, and you start coloring in between the gaps and making really cool little patchwork stuff. Um, so that's your challenge today. Go draw something, color it in, have fun with it. Just doodle. I love doodling. I've actually got, a, I actually got myself a sketchbook at um, Walmart the other day so I can sit and doodle. And Because um, all my drawing supplies, I left back in San Diego in my storage unit. How stupid was that? I did bring some colored pencils with me in a coloring book, but I totally left my sketch pad back in San Diego. So I was not happy about that. So I had to go. So I've got another little notebook that I, when I'm watching movies at night, I'll sit there and just doodle. It's interesting what comes out sometimes. I seem to have a thing with mountains and hills right now and just shading in the dark areas on the mountains and the hills. Maybe I'll show you one day. Who knows? But, and then I like blending, I like my little blending tool and getting in there and blending all the pencils and stuff. Um, so that's it from me for this morning. So remember, your challenges are mindset is focus. Business is send a card and, and or a personalized gift to clients. And number three is go have fun and draw. That's it from me for this morning. We will catch you guys this evening and um, let you know more about Zephy's escape out of her harness. And um, because there's more to that story that is coming. We haven't done it yet, but there's more coming. So we will tell you what happened with that story later on. So have a super fantastic sparkling day and catch you guys this evening. Heck on era.